Helios Dark says, what, what should I do if I want to transition into cybersecurity with no experience in the field, only a bachelor's degree in science and working with and working towards security plus cybersecurity um, is is a deeper aspect of IT. So you're not going to find too many cybersecurity jobs that are entry level. And when they say entry level, usually you have to have some kind of IT experience. <laughs> so it's, it's not, IT is like another deeper layer of IT. And then when you get cybersecurity, it has many different branches. So you can do entry level, but it's going to have to start at like the help desk. So what you want to do is aim, is aim for that. Help, aim for like an IT job. Help desk, computer support, customer support, taking calls. Honestly, <clears throat> it's not fun to me. This is just my opinion. I didn't like doing help desk. <laughs> but the the awesome thing was I got to learn things every day. Every day I was learning things that are completely new because human beings have this ability to create new problems all the time. And so you're constantly having to figure out how to how to fix this new problem they've that they, that has manifested itself uh, at the help desk. <laughs> And then you're going to be doing things, everything from fixing software issues that are having uh, problems, hardware issues, network issues. In that experience, you're going to learn how to troubleshoot. You're going to learn how components work with one another with a hands-on. It's hands-on. So it's not just something you would read in a book. It's going to be like, why is the RAM not working? <laughs> why? you got to take the hard drive out and it's corrupt. You know, like it's hands on. You're seeing how all this stuff works together. And um, that experience is invaluable. So how do you, what do I do if I want to transition? We want to transition into this field. You have to start from the bottom, which is help desk, support desk, customer service. If you want an idea of what kind of jobs, it, what kind of stuff you're going to be starting off with, it's this. I'm on Indeed.com. Once again, the tool of choice. On Convo Courses, we have not been sponsored by these people, but if Indeed.com, if you want to contact me, I will. I'll be happy to promote your product. Uh, help desk support, right? So watch, check this out. Help desk support, remote. You could type whatever state you're in. You just put it right there. But right now we have it as remote, and this is the kind of work you would do. You'd be a tier one person. Now some of these jobs will take. A person with with little or no experience and they'll train you on the job but typically even these guys require you to have some kind of experience so then the question you should ask yourself is how do I even start how do I even get a job how do I where do I begin to put my hands on someone else's assets that's probably not the right someone else's systems someone else's systems so how can well one of the places you can start is if you know if you still are a student in school you could start there if you if you are you said you are currently well where do you work right now if if you don't mind me asking what do I want to do if I want to transition what are you transitioning from or are you just a student well I'll give you a couple scenarios let's say you're a student you're going to University of of Boulder Colorado and you're studying in bachelor's degree in science right first off good news is a lot of these jobs here that you're seeing they require some sort of not necessarily just an IT uh, degree they do require some kind of technical or engineering degree or science or math degree they they accept stem degrees but they normally require some level of experience now you're a student and you're going through this uh, degree program how do you get started how do you get your hands on so you can put that stuff on your resume so you can get this entry level position ask the school go to the school administrators and say listen I want to I want to work on you guys' computers there's IT guys there ask those IT guys that's the first thing I did now I was in the I was in the Air Force and I was a a dumb cop that's all I did was not done now I'm not implying all cops are dumb by the way I love cops I was a cop five years it's a super hard job but I was in the lowest class of people 
in the Air Force, <laughs> which was a security guard. I was a glorified security guard that I did for a few years. And then I was a police officer and I did law enforcement, which is definitely requires brains, by the way. But um, I was doing that and I, I didn't like it. it was, it's really hard. It's stressful. Your customers hate you, your guts. Uh, it's a thankless, tireless job. It's hard. Um, and you can't, it, it doesn't, and then they accept a lot of dummies. Like, there's a lot of people who, who can't do any job, and they just kind of cram them into being cops. Thing is, being a cop requires a certain level of maturity and brains. Like, it, you can't just put just anybody in that job, which is why we, as a society, have all these problems because of that. Anyway, that stuff aside, uh, I was a cop, and I was like, this is hard. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do computers. So I went to the computer guys on base and I talked to them. I said, hey, guys, like I'm thinking about being uh, going into computers. Right. And they said, oh, information technology. Yeah, it's a great it's it's a good choice. You know, and I said, well, what is your job like? I asked them basic questions. What is your job like on a day to day basis? And they told me they walk me around. They walk me around the help desk and say, well, this is where we take do do trouble tickets. What's what's a trouble ticket? Oh, that's where. Somebody from on the base, they submit an email, it goes into our system, and then it tells us what's broken, and then we send somebody out to respond to that location. And I said, oh, do you guys do that? you guys go there? Do you guys program things? They're like, no, programmers, that's a whole different career path. right? He started breaking everything down to me. All my very simple questions to him, he took the time to tell me, here's the help desk. Programmers, they they are a whole different career. They, they don't even do. They're not even on this floor or in this building. They do something completely different than we do, you know. And then I started to fill this picture of what it meant to do IT, right? Because computer security is one branch of IT, and then computer security by itself, cybersecurity by itself, is broken into thousands of different categories and subcategories. So when you ask me what how do you get into cybersecurity? Start from the bottom, which is information technology. If you're a student, ask the, the school. If you, you said, I work in biotech sector for uh, CRO, cool. Now, this is awesome. So what you do is go to your company's uh, HR department. Go to the IT guys. Start with the IT guys and just ask them. Sit down or call them up and say, hey, I'll, I'm thinking about going into information technology you know, is there, how do I start? What's your job like? Would you recommend it? You know, how, coming from this biotechnology, biotechnology, how do I get from here to there? They'll ask, some people will be happy to ask, answer your questions because some people are intrigued that you even want to go from your career path to theirs, you know. So they'll sit down. You will find a geek who will sit down and answer all your questions. Next step, because you might, after you talk to them, you might not even want to do it no more. But after you talk to them, the next step is go to HR department and then start to honestly ask them, hey, I'm thinking about going transferring from this current position to this other position over here. Do we have, do we have positions, first off, in IT, entry level positions? Is there a way that I can go from this job to this job? For all you know, they have a specialized program just for CRO that wants to retain all their employees. I'm telling you, you got to start with asking. Ask the IT guys first what their life is like, the who, what, when, where, and why. Who, uh, how did you start? Who, uh, who's your manager? Like, how do they, how does your manager work with you? Ask them all those kinds of questions to see what their life is like. Do you do shift work? How often do you guys, when do you guys come in in the morning? Those kinds of, you might not even want to do it no more, right? <laughs> After you talk to them. Right. So then after that, talk to the, you can talk to HR. Do you guys have a program to transfer me from here to there? I want to get into information technology. Are there any? They'll give you like a careers list maybe or sometimes they'll have some kind of program where they're retaining employees and stuff like that. So that's what I would do in, in your situation. And um, this is coming from somebody who's done the, that very thing. Like I went from one career path completely to another and and that's what i did and it worked so that's what you do and then here's the thing like if you're in chemistry there's all kinds of stuff that would be awesome for a chemist to to be helping with as far as it in particular like off the top of my head databases databases i bet you probably 
could find something doing databases using your chemist, uh, your skills in chemistry. And then another one would be um, software engineering. I bet you there's a bunch of software engineers who, who, who are looking for a chemist that they can train because they have some kind of app that they're building or something. Like there's all kinds of opportunity. This field is growing so rapidly um, and it's changing the way humanity behaves. And it's it's terrifying, and it's it, it's it's exciting at the same time. But yes, the answer is yes. You can do it. Um, start asking around for it. I hope that answered your question. Okay.